please welcome Kelly Swanson. Look at all these people staring at you. Some of them looking at you like, oh Lord, where'd they find her? Who let the drag queen in? <laughs> They're probably looking at you thinking, oh, motivational speaker, I thought she'd be skinnier. <laughs> yeah, so did I. According to my New Year's resolution at this point, I was supposed to have lost 30 pounds and have buff arms. Instead, I'm pretty sure my muffin top just had twins. <laughs> I guess I'll always struggle with my weight. <laughs> of course, my husband says when I say struggle, that implies I'm working at it. It's a shame he went missing. I'm struggling to find him. <laughs> They're probably thinking, oh, motivational speaker. She's probably happy all the time. Talking about gratitude and joy. I'm not happy all the time. Now, my husband, bless him, he's been in one mood for 50 years. I've been in 50 moods since I started this sentence. <laughs> I think I just had another one. <laughs> All these smart people doing all these great things. I'm not smart. I mean, shoot. And my husband lays awake at night pondering the mysteries of the universe. I lay awake at night wondering what happens to their tattoos when big people lose weight. <laughs> mysteries like, how is it that when my husband goes to bed, he wakes up looking exactly like he did when he went to sleep? And I wake up looking like I've been attacked by a flock of homing pigeons in a wind tunnel. It's kind of scary being up here, hearts hammering, wondering, what if it's not good enough? What if they don't like it? What if I'm weird here, just like I'm weird everywhere else I go? The loud one in the room who doesn't quite fit. What if it's just not good enough? What if they don't like it? No, don't do that, Kelly. Come on, rein it in. Tap it out, tap it out. <laughs> don't you stand up here and write a story that says you failed before you've even started. Come on, give yourself a little bit more credit. Give them a little bit more credit. Don't doubt the spirit that dwells inside of you. Come on. This might be your only opportunity to do what you know you were born to do. Don't waste it because you're worried it won't be good enough or you're worried that they won't like it. Come on, you know every success and every victory in your life has started with a moment like this. A quiet moment where you look in the mirror and you decide to choose how you're going to see yourself and your world and your situation. And you know the story you write becomes the life that you live. And if you can't look in the mirror and see a woman of value, a woman of worth. If you can't look in the mirror and see the ability you have to impact and influence wherever you are, if you can't look in the mirror and see that, then neither will they. So why don't you write a different story? Why don't you stand up here and says, if one person walks out of here a little taller than when they came in, a little stronger, a little braver, if one person walks out of here and says, I laughed so hard I peed. <laughs> You'll be just fine with that.
because this is not about you. It never was. This isn't a chance for you to get up here and show them what you can do. No, this is a chance for you to show them what they can do. So keep it in perspective. If they want to change their lives, then they can change their story at any moment. And you're the one that's going to remind them. Is that another hair growing out of my chin? <laughs> I get another one, I can braid them. <laughs> Come on, Callie, now smile. And enjoy the moment. Because this is going to be great. <laughs> to be here with you today. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. And I want to ask you an important question. I want to ask you, what is that story running through your head? Who do you see when you look in the mirror? And do you realize that you get to write that story? Not me, but you. So it's my wish, it's my hope, it's my prayer that if anything else, you walk out of those doors and from here on out, you choose to love who you see. Because I believe what blocks us from getting from where we are to where we want to be starts and ends with who we see when we look in the mirror. I'm not here today to help you see what to change. It's not my job. I'm here to help you change what you see.